I'm a sales operations manager, and in the next few minutes, we will build an interactive dynamic workboard that allows you to bring data from different data sources and enables users to collaborate on the data right within the BS system. When I logged into Necto this morning, I got a message from my colleague Mike, who recommends me a workboard to track product sales performance. Let's check it out. This workboard has some useful data around product sales but are more interested in channel performance. So let's take the product sales grid from here and build a new workboard from scratch, focusing only on channel performance. We'll start by saving the grid to the scrapbook. And what scrapbook does, it allows you to keep track of the important insights and components that you find during your analysis, and you can then add them to any of your workboards in the future. It can be anything, a grid, chart, KPI, you name it. So we're building a new workboard, and we'll call it Channel Performance Review. We'll start by adding the product sales grid from the scrapbook into our empty workboard. There's a number of components that you can add to a workboard based on structured or unstructured data, like chart, grid, navigation, web, image, or even HTML. Let's add a chart above the grid. We can add a filter to the chart, so we can easily filter the sales grid by any of our products. And you can see that the chart is fully dynamic, changing based on the data that you select in the filter. Let's add a slicer for the exceptions that will show us any irregularities in the data with just the click of a button. I have monthly reviews with resellers to discuss the pipeline that they sent to me an Excel file. Let's add it to the workboard to see if, if any of the resellers is not delivering on their target sales. We'll add a grid next to our product sales and in just two clicks, Necto is uploading the Excel file, transforming it on the fly to a multidimensional grid where you can slice and dice the data. We'll connect to the pipeline worksheet, click finish, and that's it. To make it more visual, let's build a chart based on the reseller's pipeline grid, and we'll switch it to the heat map type chart. Let's go ahead and put a note on the reseller's pipeline chart with a description, so my colleagues who view this workboard in the future would know what kind of data it contains. And we're almost done. Let's save our work and enjoy the coffee. But wait. What we have built so far is just a nice looking, easy to build and customizable dashboard. Let me show you how you can turn it into an actionable, interactive workboard that enables collaboration. We're going to enable the social bar and drag and drop colleagues that Necto identified as the most relevant to the data that are currently seen in the workboard. So we're creating an ad hoc team on the fly to collaborate and solve issues together. Of course, all discussions are being saved in the system for future use and analysis, keeping everyone on the same page and making meetings much more efficient and effective. And you know what? I think this is a great workboard, so I'm going to like it to help other users find good content. That's it. In three minutes, we built the next generation workboard that is interactive, personalized, allows you to bring data from different data sources, and enables users to collaborate on the data right within the BI system.